Okay, so for this particular video, we're going to focus on correlation analysis, which it's pretty simple to do. Um, under our task and utilities options, when we go down to uh, task, we can scroll down to statistics, and there is an option here called correlation analysis. Now, you can choose whichever data set you are going to be working with. Um, I'll keep using this MPH.rank quartile 3. Um, and then what do we want to look at? So um, we can have multiple analysis variables. Um, we can look at everything and compare everything against everything if we'd like. Um, so we can also just look at how things compare against a single variable. And we will look at the uh, life expectancy variable, I guess. I'll just pick on the 1991. How does that correlate with the uh, ever smoking estimate in 1999? Um, what about, the, how does that compare with the current smoking estimate? And I can hold down a button and get, uh, I can look at the 1990 Gini coefficient. I'm holding down the equivalent uh, well, it's the uh, command function on a Mac keyboard, but it may be like a controller and all on, on a, um, a PC. So I bring those in there. Um, so I've got all these things that I might want to compare with Life Expect 1990. And for my options here, I can tell it that the options here, I want selected statistics instead of default and I can turn on I can turn on non-parametric correlations for Spearman rank order if you're worried about having non-parametric data or you have people that want you to do it and I can also tell it I want you know a matrix of scatter plots which could be a disaster um, we'll see how that looks and I can go ahead and, and run it So, let me zoom over here. So what do we have? We have the top boxes are Pearson correlations. The bottom one are our Spearman ones. So here is our Pearson correlation coefficient between the ever smoking estimate and life expectancy. So a slight negative correlation, more smoking, less life, and vice versa. Um, it is statistically significant, but the correlation is still rather weak. Um, I don't. I must have selected FIPS, the federal identifier, by mistake. So, um, you know, small correlation, significant. You know, doesn't have a biological basis to my knowledge. Gini coefficient: as there's more income inequality in a community, there was lower life expectancy. The current smoking estimate in 1997. Uh, had a strong correlation um, and all these are statistically significant. The bottom number is the N, how many counties had complete data for that particular uh, correlation. And then the 2017 life expectancy pretty strongly correlated with the 1991 as you would expect. And then we have similar observations to a great degree uh, for the Spearman correlations which are based off of the rank orders rather than the true values. So um, quite similar, again, all those are significant, which when you have 3,100 uh, rows, not to be uh, unexpected. And um, these uh, plots, I, I don't think I turned them on. Um, I'm not really interested in correlation plots that are different than anything we could have done on scatter plots earlier. So that's just a little bit on doing Pearson and Spearman. Uh, correlations so easy enough and oh by the way you would also need to know you know when you would want to use a Spearman versus Pearson so our previous videos on the need for non-parametric analyses um, when when they're called for you all kind of already have a good understanding of that so we will stop the video here